In this video we're going to look at adding content using this tools menu. The main feature of digital inking that has been around in SMART for a long long time has been the pens tool. We can use any of the pens here. There are a few preset ones but we can change the transparency, the type of lines, and the color. But essentially uh, with lots of different types of pens. So by default, when we click pens, we get the default pen type, but check this out. There are plenty, plenty of different types of pens. We're not going to go through every single one of these. You can try them out. There are some that have uh, specific features, but generally speaking, they work the same. When you open a pen, you can make different adjustments to a few presets here, or you can change it, and then it's start inking. Now, um, once you have inked something, you can use the select tool. By clicking on it, you can move this around, you can rotate it, you can resize it. In fact, this is your almost like a right click. It's a context menu. And by selecting it, you can turn it into text. I'm going to undo that. But you can do all sorts of other things. You can copy, um, you can. Here's another feature, lock. If you want to create certain parts of your screen which are not editable by other students to be able to move or delete, you can lock any of it. So it's now locked so that students could move around, drag around, draw ink, they could come up to the smart board, but they can't do anything with something locked until it's unlocked. So that is the pen tool uh, and generally speaking how you can then work with that um, stuff that's on the screen. There are shapes and again you click on one and a whole new set of menus opens up for plenty of different other shapes. Clicking and dragging, um, and then once you've got your shape, again, going back, this is always a tricky one, remembering to go back to the select tool when you want to do something with it, the, the thing that you've just put on there using one of these other tools. So for example, if I wanted to fill it in with the paint bucket, I could then, um, I'd have to select it first using the selection tool. So you create the original item with the different tools here. Here's a text one. So I'm clicking the text, click on here, and then it's the select tool to then do something with that. So shapes, even more shapes, in fact this is handy for a certain number of sides on a polygon, but again you'll see the color, the line shape, and the transparency are all consistent across a lot of these tools for drawing. And of course an eraser. Uh, depending on what you're using, if you're using an actual smart branded smart board, there should be a built-in eraser in that hardware uh, eraser tool. If you're using an Epson board, you will not be able to use some of the Epson specific tools like the back of the pen to erase the smart ink. So you'll have to go to this eraser and manually um, erase something. Notice that the only thing I can erase is digital ink and not text and not shapes. So that in a nutshell is this tools menu for adding content onto your smart notebook file.